Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are here with the 4th of July event. In fact, uh, in the background, we've got fireworks still going on, even though it's not July 4th officially anymore. It is now past midnight, so it is July the 5th, but people just don't want to let go of that, even on a, uh, you know, working night. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go ahead and show you here real quick what we're going to be taking on this time we're in the Everglades and there's two fish that we need to get while we're here from different fish tag coordinates that we're going to look at the first is the historic butterfly peacock bass this is using the Liberty medium spoon that's what we're going after first and the second is under the fish tag coordinate six and that is the historic common snook using the Salu Nymph 4 inch. Now I'm going to have to use the same rod for both because these fish, especially the uh, snook, comes fairly large. And I need a bigger bit rod for that. So just going to be using the one. So I'll be switching the lures from one within the same rod here. So anyway I don't know if we're gonna go on to another one or just stick with these this will probably take a minute anyway so I did want to show you a few things while we're here real quick now if you're wondering where to find the flag it is at this particular spawn point and for the butterfly peacock you can get them pretty much anywhere along here I've only occasionally get them at the salty delta but usually the floating thickets I get them the most often here and occasionally at affinity tunnels and occasionally at lily pad channel lily pad channel is really more for largemouth and affinity tunnels eh, about about the same either way here's where I really get them though because of that I think that's what we're going to start off with we're going to get the get the butterfly peacock bass taken care of out of the way here I think we're gonna have to advance time a little bit though because the peak is well away from us I'll go ahead and forward time here and that's gonna and I can see the flag even better now well, let me go ahead and get my rod out this is the Liberty medium spoon now I had gone over to the cannon just a little bit ago and picked up yet another Liberty Medium Spoon, so I now have more than one, which is nice. These are excellent lures for a variety of things. But the Butterfly Peacocks, they're pretty much anywhere along here, and they're usually pretty ravenous. Usually get them in the middle of the day, and even during non-peak times, they usually bite pretty well as long as it's daylight. There have been times when all I had to do is just kind of drag it through and the daggone things attacked. So, yeah, let me cast a little bit further here. Now, lift and drop, stop and go. Any of those usually get a good response. There we go. We might get a largemouth too. There, there are plenty of those around here as well. Hopefully this is what we're after. I think it is. Yep, there we go. That's pretty fast as you can see. So it shouldn't take you too long to get these, all the ones of these you need. 
go ahead and get a picture of him. Yeah, fairly decent size. I wonder if I can get a better... There we go. Not so much shade on my face there. Alright. We will keep him. Let me go ahead to the Salty Delta where we're going to find the Snook. Alright. Let me change my gear here because we're going to need the Slu. Let's see, the Slu. I would probably go with a fairly decent size rig here. I want to go with a three quarter ounce. You could probably go a lot bigger than that, even. But it needs to be between a 2 odd and a 6 odd. And Snook, they come pretty decent size, but I think a 3 is a nice middle of the range. And something else I wanted you guys to see, too. Hey, man, am I in the right place? No, I'm not. Somehow I got over there. <laughs> It's like, wait a minute, why is the flag over there? Okay. If you come down here, let me put that away. Normally this ends as a dead end, and it is for right now as well. But once you complete all of the coordinates missions and get all the shards to the sword of George Washington, you will be able to open that up, and that will take you to a uh, or shipwreck and I don't know if you can see it it's kinda hard to see through the but it's right over there it's hidden through the trees but it is there but that is the last of the missions that you complete if you check through here yeah, you go through all the fish coordinates you find all the f sunken canoes which there is not a sunken canoe here at the Everglades by the way but once you get all of those completed, then you're going to get the sword, take it back to Emerald Lake, open up George Washington's statue, and he will get you the directions to come here and pick up one final artifact. And I think it's under there, yeah, find an old statue, travel to Emerald. And then you restore it, you restore the statue of George Washington, you get the treasure map, which is then find the independence treasure and that's where the independence treasure is going to be located right over here that's your final step and it's only open once George Washington receives his sword after that it'll be shut away I guess forever <laughs> but anyway we're gonna go after some snook here now guys and it's been a while since I've gone after snook I used to get him out here all the time in this general vicinity. Well, let's just see if they're still there. Wait a minute. Historic common snook, so I do have a marker. Do have a marker. And I caught it in the late evening, so but this is so that's the one right out there. That was probably a peak time, too. Uh, we got something, but I don't think it's a snook. Looks like it's catfish. Huh, <laughs> got a gaff top sail catfish. That was a little strange. Kind of interesting that realize that they go for that. I would never have guessed that they went for nymphs. There we go. Boy, it took him a little while. Yeah, it's 
going to be a bit of a fight with this rod. Now, the last time I did this, I used a Sala monster, or Sal monster, or whatever you call it. It's a little bit more powerful rod, heavier line. So this is going to be a little more challenging. But this is definitely a snook. I can tell by the way it's fighting. It's definitely a snook. Just hope it's not a regular snook. Really, rather just get the historic be done with it come on well he is gonna make it make me work for it I've already had him within 60 feet and he went right back out to past 100 again which he's doing again You little... Oh, son of a gun, he's gonna do it again. He is gonna do it to me again, look at that. I had him within 30 feet. Gonna hold it up and keep the pressure on him. And then when he gets close, bring him in. And there he is. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, that was unexpected. That was completely and totally and absolutely unexpected, guys. That was not what I was after but I will definitely take him I thought my god he's awful hard for historic common snook well that's because he wasn't a historic common snook he is a unique common snook <laughs> that was a surprise that was a complete and total and utter surprise let's see how big this fella is holy crap Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That that's impressive. Ooh, look how shiny he is. He's nice and shiny. <laughs> oh wow. That is amazing. I cannot believe you have to get over this way, otherwise he's so shiny you can't see what he looks like real well. Well let's go ahead and get a picture of him. I guess that uh, takes care of trying to go after a unique common snook later on. We got him when we least expected it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing for certain, guys. I'm putting a marker on that one. Without a doubt. That's where I got him. Right there. All right. Well, I tell you what, let's try to get what we're actually after this time, if we can. That just was extremely surprising. I will definitely have to remember. There we go. Let's see if this is what we're after. Or is it just another common? Or did I get another unique? <laughs> Who knows? Or did I get something altogether different? I don't think so. I think it is a snook. It seems to be... Yeah, it's a snook. 
but it could just as easily be a trophy, and I believe the historic are trophy sized. But these coming in a lot easier than the unique did, that's for sure. Let's see here. Come on, come on, you got to make one more try at it, don't you? Nope, it's just a common. Damn. Yeah, it's like I said, I think I remembered the last time I had a little trouble getting the historic. I kept getting the regulars. So he's 12 pounds. Now how much the other one weigh? Let me take a look here real quick. Yeah, he weighed 36 pounds. That's $1,116 we got for him. That's really not bad. I would imagine the historic will probably run around 20 pounds. That's just a guess. Got to get one first, though. Yeah, some of these historic ones are challenging. The peacocks, they were... They've always been pretty easy, but they're pretty easy to catch generally anyway. Alright, I think we got us another. We do have another snook, but... And they do seem to be biting. Okay, this one, I think this one is bigger. Yep, this one is bigger. Ooh. Please don't tell me I got another unique. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. It was just, I'm trying to get one specific type of fish for you guys here. Okay, we're going to. Put it up in the air, and we're going to keep the pressure on him. He does not want me to get him past 36 feet. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. Man, this is one tough fish. We got him. Nope, <laughs> he's a trophy. <laughs> oh, Lord, he's a trophy. Oh my goodness. I have caught every size, but not a historic. Can you believe that? 759, 25 pounds. I was right, around 20 pounds or so. That's just amazing. Yeah, he's still a decent sized fish. I'm not getting a picture necessarily because okay well we have played around long enough here <laughs> it's time we get an actual historic I think We have gotten every size they come in. Okay, we got a, a cannonball snag. <laughs> Actually, the first time I've gotten one, I'm surprised. Usually you get them all the time. But I've gotten regular snags. Most of them have been doing this. But of course that is the way you get the cannonballs in this, if you aren't purchasing a DLC that is. 
There we go, and I bet you this is what we're after, guys. I bet you. I'm hoping, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I had fast forwarded time to the non peak period. And I think, unless it's a red drum, because it kind of looked like it might be a red drum there for a second. I don't know if they go for this lore, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Well, this is a not common size, whatever, if it is a snook. Alright, we're finally making some headway, guys. I hope it's a snook. <laughs> I really do. And I hope it's the right kind of snook. This fish has taken it out, and he's taken it out again. He keeps doing that. I have been seriously doing some fighting, fish fighting, without a doubt. But I can't seem to get it past... Okay, there we go. 40. If I just keep it moving... It is a snook. And it is a historic, finally. Oh, crikeys. 28 pounds. Well, they're good, good size, I guess. Right in between. Unique and trophy. Or maybe it's a high-level trophy. Well, there he is, finally. Yeah, I had to go in a non-peak period. That seemed to make the difference. So this is an event fish that is much easier to catch during the non-peak periods. To give you a little bit of a helpful tip there. I didn't I don't I didn't remember if that was the case, but I, I went ahead and once I was able to advance time without being charged, went ahead took the chance and saw that that is the case. Let's see here. Let me get a good look at him. Yeah, that's about trophy size. Not quite as big as the unique though. The unique was what 38 pounds. But still, decent fish. You can see him a little better now. I got a picture of him as well. Nice. Well, with all that time, <laughs> if we look at my species here I have managed to pick up every common snook known so that is perfect and alright guys I hope you enjoyed that episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I will be back with another episode of fishing planet and in that episode I will be Shooting off the Liberty Cannon one last time and finalizing this completely for myself. And getting the last of the gear from this event. Then we'll go on and see what other species we can go after. I think there are quite a few, as a matter of fact, still left to go after. We will be leaving here. And if we look at four, I think we're going to Quanchkin next. Yes, Quanchkin and probably St. Croix, the historic largemouth bass, and the historic chain pickerel. Those will be the ones we get at Quanchkin. Alright guys, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.